my dear students welcome in my class today we will extend our learning of photosynthesis by understanding the structure of leaf in part 1 video we have already talked about the green color pigment present in the leaves which is responsible to trap the sun's light and convert it into food or chemical energy today we will try to understand the structure of leaf can you just see this leaf this leaf has a very very flat and broad part but here the leaf is of different shape of course it is flat and broad similarly if you can see each and every leaf they are flat and they are having a common leaf part that is this flat broad part of course in this leaf the broad part here is been notched while in this leaf the broad part is having the smooth margin this broad flat part of the leaf is called as lamina it is also called as leaf blade the second most important part of the leaf as you can see here is the long line like thing which is actually the pipes and when we see it in the light we can easily see that this water pipe or food pipe is being distributed all over the leaf these main pipe like structures are called as main vein some of them called it as mid rib also as it gives support also but if i just talk about here these lines actually are the water pipes and the food pipes which brings the water to the leaves for the process of photosynthesis and takes the food which is prepared after the photosynthesis to all the other parts of the plant these pipe like structures are called as here if i just talk about it is called as mid rib or main vein you can see here this this is the main vein in this small leaf can you identify the main vein in these smallest leaves can you identify the main vein these main vein have many side veins arising from it these side veins when been seen from vein close you can see here it is also been divided further so that the distribution of water is perfect all over the leaf and the leaf can synthesize its own food the next important part of the leaf is the structure from which it is attached to the plant just see this this stem like structure this small stem like structure called as petiole the next thing which is most important in the leaf is its tip can you identify this tip the tip is pointed in this case if i just talk about here the tip is of this way here in this case the tip is again very very clear this is called as leaf tip the next thing which is also very important is its margin the lamina has its own margin in this case 
the leaf margin is smooth. In this case, the leaf margin is notched. If I just go further here, can you see here the shape of the lamina, the tip, just see the tip, the shape of the lamina, the main vein, the side vein. So today we have learned the most important part of the plant which helps in the process of photosynthesis and we have also understood its structure. In the next class, we will see some pore-like structures present in this. Let us recapitulate the concepts with the help of an activity. In this activity, we will need a leaf, a paper, a pen, pencil, or a pencil color. Just keep the leaf under the paper and with the help of pencil or the color pencil try to trace the leaf. Just beautifully trace the leaf. Can you see the beautiful patterns of the veins? which are being traced here the main vein with its side vein is so beautifully traced now with the help of the pen just label the paths the first part what we can see here is main vein. Main vein which is also called as mid rib. From this mid rib arises many side veins. The flat green part of the leaf is called as lamina or leaf blade. Here we can see the petiole from which the leaf is attached to the main stem. The upper part of the leaf is its it's called as leaf tip. Here as you can see the margin of the leaf is smooth and not notched. So this is the margin. So this is the best way to draw a leaf and show its parts. Thank you.